In today's video, we have Creality High. 3D printer sent to me by geekbuying.com. Thanks Geekbuying for sending the printer out. First, we're gonna talk about the printer itself and then we're gonna talk about Creality filament system. So talking about the printer itself, what you need to know, first of all, you probably can hear it. It's now running at full speed and it's really quiet. Okay, so the printer is working at full speed and you can hear how loud or actually not loud it is. One thing that the printer has quiet stepper motors and there are no sounds coming from the bottom part, but also the fans. That causes a risk, right, that there is not sufficient cooling. But let's look at how this printer prints overhangs. Right, the first overhang test, which you can see right here, even at 75 degrees, looks perfect. The second one that I managed to break, even at 75 and 80 degrees doesn't look bad at all whatsoever so no problems with overhanging the printer has really good cooling overall i'm pretty impressed but then also please look at this 3d benchy and also these parts right here on the lighthouse and also all the other overhangs in the other places the printer has fantastic cooling while not creating a lot of noise so two first benefits cooling and quietness 260 by 260 by 300 size bed so it's not the large printer but it's not the smallest 200 by 200 one so it's something in between the printer comes with direct drive extruder and you can mount the filament reel right here just like that you can just feed your filament from the spool otherwise you can use creality filament system and the printer produces absolutely fantastic print results let's take a look at some of the prints that i have made I think it's very important to mention that all these print results are done with absolutely standard settings. So I use the standard Creality profiles in the Creality print version 6 point something. So I didn't change or adjust the settings. And of course, by adjusting settings, potentially you can get the results even better. So for instance, on this dinosaur, if I would just reduce the filament temperature, I would avoid all the stringing and the need for cleaning up. But all in all, standard settings, standard slicer from Creality, it's absolutely gorgeous print results. Which kind of leads me to another point that this printer actually would be good for someone that is just starting out with 3D printers because assembly is super simple. The user manuals and videos that Creality provides are very informative. So it's super easy to make it all work together and it works out of the box. So you don't need to think about bed leveling or anything like in the old days. And also you don't need to look for different software or something like that. You can just use Creality Slicer which works absolutely well and the standard profiles will get you going with the decent print results. Creality also has Creality Cloud setup, meaning you can connect to your printer basically from anywhere using your phone and you can actually monitor start and stop your prints. You can see through the camera. Yes, there is a little camera installed here. It will also capture time lapses. Time lapses doesn't look as great as on K1 because the bed is moving and shaking, but hey, it creates the time lapses and you can control your printer from all over the place. And I can slice using my phone in the cloud, which is just absolutely awesome. I don't need to use any slicer software or anything like that. Absolutely love the Creality Cloud and the ability to use it on the web or using the Creality Print app on your computer, phone, and run your printer from wherever you are and actually manage all of your printers from Creality that you have in that system. So lately, Creality products have just exploded in their quality. 
I have created a K1 which for now a couple of years I believe, which I absolutely love. I have 3D printers, laser scanners, laser engravers from Creality and none of them ever disappointed me. And Creality High is not a disappointment either. Let's talk about the downsides. The only real downside that I see is that this printer does not come with enclosure. So if you want to print higher temperature filaments like ABS or something like that, you will be struggling with warping but that's just the design of the printer if you need an enclosed printer just get the k1 or k2 some some of the key series from series from creality and then you can print all the high temp filaments other than that i really struggled to find any bigger downsides it's, the printer was really simple to assemble it's super quiet it has a pretty good price and it produces really brilliant quality prints so i don't have much to complain about the printer itself I sleep literally next doors, literally behind this wall to the printer and during the night I can't even hear it working, which is not the case if we turn on the CFS. The CFS, it's not loud if you're just using one filament spool, like it's working right now, but as soon as it starts changing from one spool to another and roll the filaments in and return them back, then it becomes really loud. So when you use the printer itself, as you can hear right now, it's pretty quiet. But as soon as you engage with the Creality CFS system, the things change. Listen to it. So now it's fine. So the first source. is winding of those reels. It's a little bit noisy, not too terrible. Still makes quite some sound, when, especially when you sleep next doors. But what it gets really disgusting is when it uses this filament discarding, the poo discarding system. So now it's extruding the other color. Now you will hear the sound that wakes me up at night. This tiki tiki tick. That is pretty annoying. So if you plan to sleep next to your 3D printer and you're planning to use the Creality CFS system, you should know it's quite loud. The second is that some filament reels which are a little bit smaller in diameter than the other ones are not always spinning correctly so the filament is feeding the filament back but the spool is not turning here we have the problem with the white one so it's not spinning the the filament reel while it's releasing the while it's feeding out the filament That's how you get there. Or... And I got quite a few of these tangles during my longer prints. And of course, it's not a problem with CFS, but generally with printing in multicolor, you'll have a lot of filament poo, which is really unnecessary waste. In many occasions, you will have more waste weight than the part that you actually printed. I don't know why I cannot film the weight scales, but it's 347 grams for this big boy. So now we're gonna weight all the filament pool. Just need to empty it. It's almost full. So 347 grams for the object and 611 grams for the filament pool. That's amazing which is very unfortunate and I think that's still something for the, pre for the 3D printing in general to figure out how to reduce of that filament pool because it's, in my opinion, is not an acceptable quantity for printing in multicolor or at least that is what stops me from actually using multicolor printing more. On the day of recording, Creality and CFS combo on Geek Buying is around 485 euros, but you can get a discount if you follow the links in the description below and enter the discount code. 
And if you would buy standalone printer only, it's around 320 euros. And I think it's worth every single penny of that price. It's absolutely a nice, quiet, high quality, great printer that produces fantastic print results. It works super quietly, doesn't wake you up at night, prints reliably and it prints fast. I don't know what else do you need from a 3D printer. It's easy to assemble. It looks pretty cool. The cable management is fantastic. Overall, it's a very high quality product for a very reasonable price. If you want to try or use multicolor printing or you just want to print very long prints, so you need four reels of the same color filament, use the Creality filament system, CFS. And for 485 euros, you get the printer and the CFS system and the CFS system in one. This printer will definitely go into my recommended printers list. Not as good in my personal opinion as Creality Key 1 because it doesn't have the enclosure. But if you don't need enclosure, if you mainly print PTG and PLA, well, that might be something really interesting to consider. I hope you found this useful and I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.